A Georgia state legislator introduces an asinine testicular bill of rights on this edition of Hot 8! So earlier this week, Georgia state legislator Darshun Kendrick introduced a so-called testicular bill of rights. And much to my great disappointment, this legislation has nothing to do with actually protecting the God-given rights of my balls. Shame, Miss Kendrick. Shame. So per Miss Kendrick's tweet, let me read to you what this so-called testicular bill of rights actually consists of. Require men to obtain permission from their sex partner before they are able to obtain a prescription for Viagra or any erectile dysfunction medication. Ban vasectomy procedures in Georgia, both in part or whole, with the name Punitive Measures for Performing the Procedure that are listed in HB 481. Make it an aggravated assault crime for men to have sex without a condom. Require DNA testing when a woman is six weeks and one day to be performed before she is eight weeks to determine the father of the child who shall immediately start paying child support. A 24-hour waiting period for men to purchase any porn or sex toys in the state of Georgia. Now, it's obvious what this is supposed to be is a tongue-in-cheek piece of legislation that is designed to be a parody of various bills, including one that is going through the Georgia state legislature right now, that place restrictions on abortion. And if you ever needed proof that there are some people like this state legislator, who just truly do not understand to any degree whatsoever the pro-life argument, this is it. And for those who don't understand, let me spell it out for you. Buying Viagra is not the same as killing a child. Buying sex toys is not the same as killing a child. Buying pornography is not the same as killing a child. Having sex without a condom is not the same as murdering a child. And Miss Kendrick, I'll actually throw you a bit of a bone on one part of your parody legislation. The part about guys paying child support basically as soon as it's discovered the woman is pregnant, I can get behind that. I mean, there's medical costs associated with pregnancy, and I don't have a problem with the father of the child being held responsible for paying a portion of those costs. But the rest of this is bull feces. All this is based on the idea that abortion restrictions are only for the purpose of telling women what they can and can't do with their bodies and regulating their sex lives. Even though that could not possibly be any further from the truth. This has never been about regulating women's sex lives or what they can and can't do with their bodies. This has always been about the right to life of the child that is growing within said woman. This whole testicular bill of rights is just absurdly childish. And I know Miss Kendrick might say, well, yeah, but that's the point. It's just as stupid as the restrictions that you put on women who are seeking abortions. And you know what, Miss Kendrick? I'm happy to listen to that argument when you explain to me how men are capable of killing unborn children with our erect penises. Until then, please shut up and go find another job. That's my take. So I gave you guys my take. I'd like to know yours. Let me know down in the comments section. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button and share it with your friends. And subscribe. Do you want to edit this video? Is that what you want? Do you want to edit this video? Nah, I'm good. Okay, then. Seriously, though, I really would appreciate it if you'd hit that subscribe button. Oh, and hit the little bell to get notifications when I upload new videos, since subscriptions don't mean that much anymore. I'll see you next time.